um, it's always nice sometimes to add information to your um, image. You can watermark for the prevention, for copyright prevention, but mostly what I added, so people know it's my image and they can contact me if they needed to purchase or just create something similar. So just as a contact information. You can automate that by creating macros and you can use it this action or macro in your uh, processing if you have it multiple batch processing images or sometimes much easier just press one button and don't worry about typing find fonts and all the other stuff so let's see how we can do this the one you notice right here I open my action menu you can also go inside the windows and click alt F or just click on action when we in action menu we need to click on the add new create new action we'll just set as default and let's just get yellow as just set up so we can now create record uh, we now start recording this action and at this time whatever we will do Photoshop will remember and repeat it afterwards so at this point I want to click and select type tool we'll go switch just for this one in the white color and we'll go click somewhere in the middle and type wherever you like it. At this moment you can also um, select all text and just go change to different type if you want it. So select which one you like it. And just for example we'll use this kind of font. Next what I want to do I want to place this signature on the bottom right here. So if I satisfy with size if not I always can select and reduce a little bit in the size so you can modify and remember all of these actions as you're working right here you can see the modification it does happen it's recording all of the steps is what's happening but now I want to place them below notice that my alignment tools does not work and it's reason because we need to select the to do this we'll select, click on this layer with the text and press Control or Command A, which is select all, and you notice as soon when I do this, this once is enabled. So I want to put it on the right, right here, and I want to put it on the bottom. So after this done, let's deselect it, and also it's too close to the edge. So I'm just going to move. We used my arrow key, move ten times up pixels. So for example right here I like it and let's switch this opacity mode drop down maybe around this area. So notice all of these actions that I was performing it was recording for me. So when I'm done I go press stop. To verify if it's all work I'm just take this one delete it and as signature actions selected I go ahead and click play selection. And you notice right here it's appear. So let's look on different sizes of image. Example, this is vertical or horizontal, not vertical. So I can do same things. Now when my action is working, I can go click and right there we have it. Our watermark is applied. If you process a batch, which you can go by file, and we can go to scripts, image processing. In image processing, for example, right here, you'll notice you have your action. So you can select the folders that you want to process, apply resizing, whatever you need it. And you just need enable run action. And from run action, for example, I can select signature. And now when I process all of those images, the signature will be added to the bottom of my images as well. So this way you can automate batch processing. You also can save this signature and just without worry in the future, try find fonts and where to place. Just place it right there and click run action and then you will have it. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio.